Hi guys, Alice Taylor down at Lytham Golf Academy and today we're going to be taking a look at should you be putting a 7 wood in your bag. Right then guys, so if you're new to the channel, thank you for joining me. Uh, click the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, let's make sure you get all my videos as soon as they drop for you to watch. Leave comments below and I'll get back to as many of you as I can, but for now, let's see if you should be putting a 7-wood in your golf bag. Right then guys, so I get a lot of golfers come and see me who say that they really, really struggle with the long irons. And the big challenge for me is they've actually got clubs in the bag that just don't suit the way they deliver the golf club and as hard as they work with it they're never going to get the results they want so a lot of guys have still got three four five irons in the bag and maybe only like a three wood possibly a five wood but with the modern golf ball certainly not spinning as much very often golfers need that extra launch angle impact. So I'm going to hit five balls with long iron, five balls with seven wood. Now I'm going to swing a bit slower than normal, simply because I know maybe a few of you guys out there don't swing quite as quickly as me, and I've got enough speed that I can very much get away with a long iron. But like I said, a little bit slower, going to go long iron and seven wood, and show you the benefits that putting something with this in the bag could really add to your golf game. So five real balls, GC quad, hit the long arm first, and this is very typical to what I see from a lot of guys. So it's a really, really good strike. Pitching just over 140 yards, and because that trajectory is so low, we're having to rely on a huge amount of run. Again, pretty solid and nice and accurate. And particularly if you're, I mean, obviously I'm based in the UK, but particularly if you're somewhere where there's a big difference in ground conditions, in the summer that trajectory is going to be great. It's going to run a long way and really get out there. But the big problem is if you need to hit it over, say, a bunker or some water at the front of the green. And I generally see that there's a lot of golfers see that nice 10 yard progression as they're going nine eight seven six iron but then the irons start getting closer and closer together on carry and if anything they get to that point where an iron actually carries shorter than the previous one and certainly as good as these three irons are a little bit quicker there so i might go a bit further you know it's a very very low trajectory really relying on a lot of run so let's hit these last couple and then switch over onto seven wood. And again, you know, I think a lot of golfers would hopefully be fairly happy with these shots with a long end. But like I said, very low, very piercing and not a huge amount of carry. And again, so fairly consistent, little right to left shots that I would normally see with most of those. Now, as a general rule, if your club head speed is a little bit slower, normally you need a little bit more loft to get the ball up and flying. And, and certainly anyone who's been fitted, particularly for driver, will appreciate that. And like I said, just for me, there's still too many guys with irons in the bag that don't do a particular job. So I've got the TaylorMade TS2 7 wood. So obviously the construction of the head, massively different, much bigger front to back. Therefore, when the middle of the club head's trying to catch a shaft up, even though this has only got 21 degrees of loft on it, at impact, it's trying to add a little bit of loft despite me hitting down on the ball. So I'm going to try and swing a little bit slower again, keep it nice and consistent, and show you the difference the seven wood makes to the long iron. So a much, much higher shot. And even though the total is probably not massively different, we should start to see more carry, and then hopefully with that little bit more loft, we'll see a little bit more consistency. A 
And again, you can see ball flat though, much, much higher. And certainly I've got a few guys that I coach that were quite hesitant to put in a seven wood in the bag. I think the old stigma of it's an old man's club and you know, golfers need to get past that and put equipment in the bag that helps them play better golf. Certainly so easy to hit. Certainly compared to a long iron. I mean, all these shots are off the floor. Certainly then when you go onto those maybe slightly longer par threes for a lot of you where you maybe feel that the iron can land on the green but that trajectory is so low and flat that you then can't get the ball to stop. This is where seven wood, maybe even nine wood could be an option. Now that would be a very, very poor one off the bottom of the club, but still ends up kind of giving me what the long iron does on a good one. So then we go one final one with seven wood. Again, up in the air, longer. And just for me, visually a nicer looking shot as well as being more effective. So let's look at some numbers there between long iron and seven wood and see what the benefits to seven wood are with that slower club head speed. Okay, so if we look at the long iron, average ball speed, 108 mile an hour. Now, certainly with the fairway wood, only fractionally higher at 109 but four degrees difference in loft at impact. Spinning round about the same. And we can see there the peak height though, nine yards compared to 16 yards, taking the average carry from 137 to 154. So a massive pickup on carry, despite there only being a couple of mile an hour quicker on ball speed. So we look at the club head speed there, maybe a little bit quicker with the fairway wood, just simply because a little bit longer, graphite shaft, so that also encouraging that, but we didn't really see the ball speed change dramatically because of that, even though there was one that wasn't the best strike, and that's because more loft is resulting in a little bit less speed. But again, the pickup from 137 to 154 and 166 to 177 is a huge improvement with that cl slower club head speed of 80 mile an hour and under. Right then guys, so particularly for you golfers out there with those slightly slower club head speeds, you can see there kind of nearly 76 mile an hour with the long iron, 80 mile an hour with the fairway wood. Fairway wood obviously got the longer shaft and graphite, so would expect to see a little bit more club head speed, but didn't see a massive jump in ball speed, which is ultimately where we would have expected to see that distance. So the big difference was with that cl slower club head speed, the extra loft the seven wood gave me, gave me that ability to hit it higher, further, and then potentially, because it's coming in a little bit steeper, maybe get the ball to not roll out quite as much. So those shots on the green stopping quicker. But certainly for a lot of you guys out there, I think seven wood, could well be the way to go, but the best thing to do is get fitted, take your longest irons along, see how they perform, and then see how lofted fairway woods, or possibly even hybrids, would fit into your bag. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like and share it. Click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, both under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down in the future. Stay in contact.